Welcome to another edition of Make Fun in Your Business, presented by Segra. I'm Nate Courant, here inside the beautiful Segra Club at Joseph E. Riley Jr. Park. It's a great place to watch a ball game, to have your next event, or whatever you really are in the mood for. We're joined today by my friends from the Asheville Tourist. This is Alyssa Quirk and Sam Fisher. Alyssa, uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. What's up, Nate? Thanks so much for having us. Um, for those of you that don't know, my name is Alyssa. I was actually Nate's intern in Charleston last summer, and I am now the promotions manager here in Asheville with the tourists. Hey, I'm Sam Fisher. I'm the assistant general manager here for the Asheville tourists at beautiful McCormick Field, if you can see it. Um, and thank you so much for having us. We're really excited to uh, be able to catch up and do this with you guys, for sure. Well guys, it's great to see you. Thank you so much for joining us and doing this with us here today. Um, Sam, you've been there obviously a little bit longer, so I'll ask you, how are things going in Asheville these days? Yeah, Asheville, um, you know, I'm sure like a lot of places is different, not what we're used to in terms of a day-to-day -day operation or, you know, really even what we see when we walk outside the ballpark. Um, you know, our ballpark's located in downtown Asheville, so it's it's looking a little thinner than it is normally um, during the, the height of tourist season, but you know, we're making it work and um, it's really been nice to see the community come together in such you know odd times, um, sure. helping each other out and making sure people are getting through this together. Yeah, just being flexible and um, just, yeah, like you said, just getting each mm -hmm. other through it, yeah. Well, you said thinning, and that was all I could think of right there. Uh, just how my scale is telling me I'm doing quite the opposite over this past few months. But uh, how are things going with your sponsors? I know, again, normally we'd be having games and things would be kind of running as normal. But how have you guys adjusted to your sponsors and partners you know, through the past few months? You know, obviously, like most other minor league baseball teams, we're not able to fulfill our partnerships in the way we had anticipated, you know, just even beginning of March of 2020. So. Really what we're trying to do right now is just look at the human element of what's going on. You know, how can we help each other out as community members, as business partners, um, you know, as community partners, how do we help each other get from the start of the pandemic, you know, through to the end of mm -hmm. it. Um, and just using our platform to communicate with our fans and our community and um, those outside our community, you know, as a minor league baseball team, just like Charleston, you reach beyond just Charleston. So mm -hmm. trying to use that um, to just, help each other out. Yeah, just like really asking like, what do you need from us and doing what yeah. we can to fulfill that. Right. So. How do we get the word out about what you're doing, yeah. um, you know, to keep your business going through the pandemic? Mm -hmm. I think that's been our, um, you know, key for us. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I agree. And that, that's kind of what we've been doing here. You know, we're trying to come up with new ideas like this video actually. Um, just to kind of make sure that we're we're helping encourage people to keep our sponsors and partners top of mind and and showing them that we are still working with them even though the product on the field is is not there right now. Um, speaking of baseball and you know in business, for example, what do you see coming for our industry and then you know for those outside of baseball, what is what does a new normal look like for baseball? Um, I mean, I think everybody, you know, Taking out the sport and baseball element for a second, just as a business, this is, I think, the time to try something new. Mm -hmm. You know, if you've been thinking about a different way you can operate more efficiently, um, you know, or just want to try something out, you know, this is when you do it. Do you, you know, there's been a lot of talk of more work from home settings, mm -hmm. you know, is that is that better for people's uh, productivity, you know? Well, you know, if, without a baseball season, now's the time when sports teams can try it. Yeah. Um, and just that that's that's what we've been talking about this whole time. What, you know, let's just look back on our future successes, our past failures and see, you know, how we can connect them and yeah. um, maybe operate a little efficient, more efficiently as we move forward. Yeah. Like you said, like, I think that this is the time if we're going to fail, like it's OK to do it right now because we're all just trying to figure this out anyway. So, yeah, seeing what that looks like, it's OK to try new things and just see how they work. Yeah. I think that's that's for businesses across the board. You know, mm -hmm. if you've been thinking about trying something, you got plenty of time. <laughs> we right recommend now. it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I definitely agree with you. And, and Alyssa can definitely attest to her time in Charleston. We are all about trying new things and sometimes it comes up on the wrong side of things, but it's worth at least trying and maybe you stumble into something great, uh, which I think this, this series has been actually for us. Um, and again, we do appreciate you guys joining us. It's something that we've tried and you know we're looking to be creative all the time. Alyssa, I mean, again, you've only been there fairly recently, um, going into the 2020 season, but what are some creative things you've seen either locally or, or at least somewhere online that, that some, some creative people are doing right now? 
So I've actually only lived in Asheville for a few months now, but something that I've noticed just since I've been here is that it's very locally established. The economy relies on all these small local businesses and um, it's super great for that reason, but obviously a lot of local businesses have struggled during this time. And um, it's just been really cool for me to see all these businesses are kind of helping each other out and we know of places that are you know selling each other product and trying to come up with these new opportunities to keep their businesses going and it doesn't feel so much like a competition it just feels like let's get each other through this yeah the camaraderie you made a good point earlier about um, the hand sanitizer yeah like a lot of breweries like creating hand sanitizer and just um those like little ways to create products that other businesses might need that are maybe it is one of their competitors but they're willing to help them out because we're just trying to get through it. And something I would like to shout out our staff for um, just in terms of creativity was a couple months ago we started doing these drive-by birthday packages. You know Mr. Moon he has a t-shirt gun, he's got a little swag bag of Asheville <laughs> tourist gear um, and you know you just can get a t-shirt shot to you for your birthday everyone i can't tell you how many people leave games and they're like oh like it didn't even come my direction you know it's like right now these packages it's just you this is your chance um and people have been loving them yes. you know they started out as a birthday package and now i think that it's just a goodwill package where, <laughs> you know people are just excited to see mr moon drive by and shoot a t-shirt and yeah, um, it's and it's been a really nice way for us to stay connected to the community so for huge sure. shout out to our staff for um, putting that together and, and making that the success that it is at this point in time. We started about April, I think. Yeah. And, um, Killing yeah, it. It's just been a really neat, neat, neat thing to do during times that are very unknown. So for sure. Well, it's, yeah. it's, I mean, I think it's great. And I think you guys have definitely done some fun stuff in Asheville. You've done some great stuff in the past and, and definitely you've pivoted into something really cool. Um, as all of this has been going on around us. This has been great. I really appreciate it. Uh, Alyssa, it's good to see you, Sam. It's good to see you as well. And this has definitely been our most lighthearted uh, one of these so far. So uh, again, we really appreciate your time, guys. Well, thanks so much for just catching up with us and um, chatting with us today, Nate. It was really great to see you. Yeah, Nate, really appreciate it. Thanks to everyone at the River Dogs. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're all here hoping you guys are doing great. Mm -hmm. and. Hope to catch you guys down in Charleston maybe one weekend For next sure. time we have a game, whether, um, you know, it's in the near or far future, but you guys are always welcome here too. Yes, we really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, certainly we'd love to see you guys here in Charleston. And again, maybe we can come up there at some point too. Hopefully we can get baseball back on the field wherever it is. Uh, but for now, we again, we, we want to thank uh, Alyssa Quirk and Sam Fisher from the Asheville Tourist for joining us here. This is another edition of Make Fun in Your Business presented by Segra. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you back here next time.